and all the things uh, that you can do. She said investing in technology. What was she talking about? Well, Zach Winkler is CEO and co-founder of an app here in St. Louis called SafeTrek. Zach, welcome to Big 550 KTRS. Zach, you there? Hang on, he dropped. All right, he dropped. We can we can develop an app where a police officer can find me in a moment's notice, but we still haven't figured out a way to solve the dropped phone technology the problem. The wonderful world of library. The wonderful world of dropped phones. <laughs> uh, Zach Winkler, are you there? I can hear somebody breathing. Who is that? This is Zach. Zach, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Thank you. You got you got to fix this uh, phone drop. That's your next app you got to fix. Um, <laughs> tell us about SafeTrek. Yeah, so SafeTrek is an application designed to keep you safe. And the way it works is really simple. So let's say you're walking home late at night, you're feeling a little unsafe, maybe even a little paranoid. That's okay. Open up the SafeTrek app and press and hold on the big blue button. It's the only button on the screen, and you can keep holding on it as long as you feel unsafe. When you get back to your car, your apartment, your house, everything is fine, nothing happened, simply release your finger from the button and enter in your four-digit pen. That will cancel everything. No one's notified, and we're glad you're safe. But let's say that somewhere along your walk home that you need help. At any time, you can release your finger from the big blue button and don't enter in your pen. After 10 seconds, we're going to send police to your exact location and make sure that you get help even if you can't talk or you don't know where you are. How much does this app cost? Yep, so the application we give all of our users a free month, and then it's just two ninety nine a month after that. Two ninety nine a month afterwards. Why did you have it where you want to hold the button and then put in the code? Why not, if I'm feeling skittish or, oh, my goodness, something happens, why wouldn't I just open up the app? So you can, you can open up. There's two ways you can use it. You can open up the application and hold on the button inside of the application. That's if you're feeling scared and you're not in a real emergency. You don't want to call 911, though. So you just press the button. Mm. But let's say that you're in a real emergency and you just want to help and you don't want to talk. We also give you the ability to just tap that button, and it works as a panic alarm and we will get you help without you know, talking to 911. Zach, how, now this is launched here in St. Louis? Yep, it's launched. It works anywhere in the United States. So if you download it in St. Louis and you go to California or New York, you can still use the same application. Uh, and and how, uh, are, how is it working so far? It's going great. We have over 800,000 downloads across the United States, and um, police have been super cooperative with us. And in the past six months alone, we've helped over 46 people that have been in real emergencies that might not have gotten help with uh, you know, traditional emergency services. Here in St. Louis? In St. Louis, we've had a few, but um, we are demographic is across the entire United States and concentrated in major cities gotcha. and college campuses. How, what are your stats on people who are feeling skittish open the app, and then put their four-digit code versus feeling skittish and then calling for police? Yeah, so it's a, it's a lot of people that are pressing it. They're walking across campus or, you know, they're walk, their nurse is walking back to the parking garage late after work. And so there's a, the majority of our uses are just people pressing the button when they feel unsafe, but everything is all clear. They enter in their pen. One of the cool things about SafeTrack is when you're holding down on that button, you're leaving breadcrumbs of data behind of where you're feeling unsafe in your communities. And we're working on trying to figure out how do we leverage that data to make communities safer. Maybe it's a burnt out street lamp that's making people feel unsafe or more police patrols. And so um, we can look at our data maps and see that across the United States. And it's concentrated today mostly on college campuses. And you started this here in St. Louis? We started it at the University of Missouri when we were um, in our senior year. And uh, we've been working on it for about three years now. Fantastic. Now, the back end, how is, how is it connected to the police? Is, is it part of the 911 system? Yeah, so a couple things there. The way we work is very similar to how your home security system works. So when you trigger an alarm, you go to our private five-star certified emergency medical call center. And so they're going to be able to provide your location and emergency information to the local police. And they're there specifically for you to make sure that you're always safe. What most people don't realize is that if you were to dial 911 from where you are right now from your mobile phone, it can take them up to six minutes to get a 300-meter location reading of where your, of your location, which might not help you in a real emergency. And so part of what we do is the mobile application safe track to keep you safe. And on the other side, we're working to improve emergency services to help make it better. Wow. Well, that is really interesting stuff. Are you able to, like, text police, too, and give a specific emergency? Yeah, exactly. 
Yep. So when you trigger an alarm with SafeTrack, our call center is going to send you a text message so that they can get more information from you. Mm -hmm. If you don't respond, no problem. You're still going to get help. But if you have additional information, you can text message to us, and we'll relay it to your local police department if they don't have text and 911 capabilities. We've had people that have had people invade their homes. Um, actually, we had a 13-year-old who thought someone was in her house. Her back door was open, and she did not open it. So she triggered SafeTrack, and through text messaging, she was able to tell us the garage code to um, let the police into her home and then the directions to the closet that she was hiding in so that the police could find her safely. Do you have any false positives, any any false alarms? We do. We've worked very, very hard with our call centers and uh, the National Association of 911 to make sure that we don't relay a lot of false alarms to the police department because obviously no one wants that. And so uh, we've managed to keep those very, very low. Zach Winkler, CEO and co-founder of Safe Trek app here in St. Louis. It works nationwide. Uh, Zach, you looking for any employees? We are. We're hiring engineers. We're hiring marketers. We're hiring designers. So uh, feel free to go to the safetrackapp.com and uh, send us a message. Zach, congratulations. Great story. That is great. Congrats. Thank you. You got it. 757 here. Big 550 KTRS. The next time you're in your basement.